Hello there, I'm Tim and he's John and this is How to Murder Blocks, a Minecraft adventure. Hello. Watcher. We've... Look, we've almost got no nothing on the board. Still, yeah, we ticked some things off. Still got three more of those big. stupid dragon I fights out fuel. I'm tempted to plug the chest into the AE system, but maybe not. <laughs> Is there a similarly vast furnace as well, and, 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 a, and a crafting table? There is now. <coughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, <coughs> right. I, I, I've, been, I've been doing some research, and apparently there should have been some chaos shards when I killed that big thing. Luckily, I took a bookmark with my forty thing. So this is a chaos island. Once it loads. Hey, here we go. Now, I reckon so possibly we're talking about digging inside the place. There we go. Look, there's a... So I'm going to try going down and see what we got inside here. There it is. Yay, I found it. Yeah, inside the Chaos Island is a chamber with some spinning Chaos Crystals. In the centre, Chaos Crystal. So if I hit that with a... apparently it, it self-destructs the island once you pull this out, so here we go. Run away! Boop! Right, grab, 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 and... Hey! That's all right. I teleported out. Five chaos shards. There we go. Right, coming back. See, I nearly ran off without my loot. It's the whole reason to be there, probably. So with those chaos shards, we can make chaos core, which then allows us to do chaotic upgrades on the, uh, the gear. I think. Shard. Chaos Shard, what are you used in? You are used in... Fusion Crafting. Draconic Reactor Core. Oh, hello. It's also used to make a Chaotic Core, which is the underpinning for Chaos upgrades on all the Draconic Armour. Oh, Chaotic Solar Panel. Solar Flux Reborn. Which is upgrading on Draconic Solar Panels. Did we even bother with those? I think we're fine with solar power already, aren't we? But that's interesting. I think we might need one of these shards to make the actual actor core for the draconic thing. That'd be important then. Hmm. Alright, well, so I'm, I'm fairly confident I can kill those Chaos Dragons without <coughs> vast amounts of Chaos upgrades on all, our, all the equipment, so I'll just chuck those in the system for now. And work out what we need them for later. Oh, right, back to you. Uh, yes, I'll try to finish the notice. That chest cracks me up. Look at it. <laughs> I feel like a midget. Not furnished generators. Never started generators. Oh, we got the Nether Star machine. But I think we've probably got quite a lot of stars at the moment. Alright, what do you need me to be doing then? I find myself at a loose end. Uh, what's on the board? Uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Ah, kill, th kill three more Chaos Dragons. Okay, go on with that, I guess. Dragon Egg I, Mill, uh, uh, build T6 Energy Core. Work. I have no idea how to build a T6 Energy Core. Oh, there's, we had a book somewhere, didn't we? Here we oh, are. There's a magic book that holder. Draconic Evolution Information Tablet. Oh, I was thinking about it. Draconic Evolution. Cores, Fusion Crafting, Generator... No, that's, that's not that one. Energy network. No, that's the crystals. Um, energy storage core. Oh, that's the whacking great spinning orb thing that we've already got. We've already got a seven one of those, haven't we? So what's the, what's the reactor? Um, yeah, I don't know. Draconic reactor core. 
which we can make based on we use the chaos shard we've now got. But I don't know what else you'd need to do. There's a reactor stabilizer frames. Oh god, look at all this stuff. Yeah. I don't want to get this wrong because it will blow everything to bits. <laughs> only when you turn it on and only if you don't put enough power back in the system. Hmm. Uh, right. Basics. Linking crystal types, wireless energy. Yeah. Upgrade system, disenchanter, dislocation generator. Generator? No, no, to say simple. Oh, yeah. one, one block thing. Energy infuser, mobsaw, celestial manipulator. Ultimate time and weather control device. Alright. Entity detector potential entire rain sensor ender energy manipulator. A dragon stone. Mystical device allows you to extract an egg from the ender dragon without killing her. Hmm. Elven trade, mana diamond to the dragon stone, right. Nope. No, no idea what's going on with this. Uh, if you want to do something else in the meantime, then I think we we'll probably do. Yes, to come back, come back to that once we work out what's going on. I mean, I could make the core anyway, I suppose. Could you make a automated potion generator, please? Automated potion generator? Is that a thing? Well, just something that makes potions. We we oh, see. <coughs> because the potion generator needs. Fuel. Oh, you, yeah, it's just a. Brewing stand, then. Do yeah, make sort a, uh, what, yeah. Whichever potion okay. you feel the most useful, because I don't I've... care about the power output. Oh, just an awkward potion, probably, then. It's just water and spider eyes, I think. Right, let's make some room over here. What don't we need? That's grinding bones. That's a uh, smelter. Alloy smelter. Right. Exporter, yellow orium. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Right. Yeah, I think we're done with yellow orium, aren't we? Got two massive chests stuffed full of it. Not even running the reactor anymore. Yeah. Right. <coughs> uh, brewing stand craft. Oh, we even got a recipe for it. Look, start. So, let's see. Chuck that out there. What's it going to need? It's going to want exporter. Um, glaze powder? Yes. So I stick that over there. Is that going to start filling it up? Yep, there it goes. Okay, then it needs water bottles. Ah, we're going to need a bottler as well then, aren't we? Water bottle. How are we doing for Supremium, just out of interest? Um, I don't know, I haven't really automated anything in that nature. Okay, that's filled out, it's good. Um, potions. So the how does power generation work on the potions? Is it the more complicated or powerful the potion, the more energy you get, something like that? Uh, something like that. Mm. Poison. Oops, no, right back. Thick potion, water bottle. Mundane patients, spider eyes. Oh, we got too much off. Oh, glowstone. Ah, there we go. Nether wart. Oh, God. Yeah, nether wart. We got, must have loads of that. Nether. 13.3. Yep. <laughs> Chuck that in there as well. That should fill the top now. Mm. 
Nee. So I have to go in a different side. Used to teleporter ended up in random power by mistake. <laughs> I may have overdone it a bit on the teleporters, possibly. It's my, my cursed sense of eightfold symmetry that's made this whole platform somewhat more elaborate than it needs to be. At least we've got multiple backup redundancy. <coughs> we got something. Why is that not filling up? The odds of us having enough of these things to make this are quite slim. Suspect. I hope you didn't need any of those superior medicines and things we have in the system. Uh, <coughs> no, I'm not crafting really. an ultimate first, which is going to use so much of everything up. Well, we only needed those to make spare suits of flying armor when we lost all our gear, so I think we've got a couple of spare suits of those now, anyway, so... Uh, dragon egg... Mill... Uh, did they not get done? That's good, definitely, right. Right, here in auto-craft... One of these do we not care about anymore? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of that. Alright, water bottles. Fluid tank, really? Dear. Fluid tank? The only way we've got to fill glass bottles with water is a fluid tank, I think. All right, let's see what I can do. Fill water. Yes, triple blue, right. This is more like it, flying around the sky like some demented thing with a bow, facing dragons. Just here for the crafting, man. Triple blue. Yes. Missing blue wool, of course. Of course. Oh, that's nice. The um, little preview window shows you what it's currently filled with. That's nice. Right. Oh. 
fluid conduits. I have good news for you. I like good news. <coughs> you know the patch I did to the server? Yeah. No. All of the uh, Draconic Infusion effects are back. Oh, the spinning balls. I missed yep. the spinning balls. There we go, there's a water tank now. We want to insert empty glass bottles. And extract full glass bottles. Oh, you're having a bad with, day. Well, it's the trouble when you're wielding the uh, the pickaxe of the gods. It tends to be a bit, bit, bit brutal on the floor. All right, extract. There. Yep, there it goes. Whoosh. And then you're on the brewing stand. We should have the potions water bottles. Right, there we go. It's currently going to use any empty glass bottles and turn them into potions. Good, because the glass bottles will get returned to the system. Oh, oh clever. So you want to use okay. uh, awkward potion as your input for that one. Grab an awkward potion, go to the uh, rainbow generator. Oh, i got to do it, have I? Right. I'll do it on one condition. What? You fight the next Chaos Dragon. Okay. <laughs> How hard can that be? <laughs> I'm not sure I should really let you try that, to be honest. Right. That's the rainbow generator. You've got a bunch of monsters down here. Yeah, they happen now. That's because your giant chest is sat on top of the lights. It's just yep. uh, the wireless transmitter in range. Good. Blaze lamps. I mean, we've got rogue endermen as it is, so we don't want to encourage too much more trouble. Right, I'll stick one there. Oh, no, you don't. Bloody creeper. <laughs> right, good. Okay. Right. Awkward potion. Oh, wow, look at all this. It's all very colourful. You meant to have so much floor missing. Uh, yeah. Most likely. It's a health and safety nightmare. <coughs> right. Colour solution generator? Ah, purple. Here we go. Potion of healing? No, 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 no. They were just the most we had. Water. Awkward potion. Oh, you can use those as well if you like. Okay, and then you're exporting, importing glass bottles, you're not, are you? I should be. I should be importing anything that comes out the output. Oh, there's no filter, so it'll grab everything, will it? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, right. How'd you, how'd you turn it on? It's not doing anything. You have to pull the switch. Or switch. There's a switch up in the air. Oh, oh no, no. Well, I just want to turn this. This. this, this oh, oh there, I see. You've got. Ah, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got your redstone. All oh, right, okay. Redstone on. Turn it off. Oh, there it goes. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Dump. Right, yep. then switch it again. It's about 20 RF a second. That's fine, don't care about that. Yeah, okay, redstone on again. Right, okay, that's all ready. Okay, uh, then look at it, pull the switch, then rapidly click on the uh, rainbow generator to see where it's going wrong. Okay. Oh God, there's explosions. But... Yeah. The rainbow generator will tell you something's not generating or something. Oh, to be the disenchantment one, probably. 
Disenchantment and slimy. Okay, hit the button. Okay, turning it all off. <coughs> disenchantment. The disenchantment you? one isn't being automatically fed with enchanted items ready for disenchanting. So you want me to set up a process to enchant stuff and then... That would be useful, I think. Slimy generator, what's wrong there? I oh, that's, just not, that's, that's not set to redstone on, that's all. Is it? Let's try that. No, it's... Yeah. There's two inputs on this, and I had the wrong I need Slimy generator not running. Slimy generator, why not? Slime balls are in there, redstone on. I think oh, it, it needs something else, does it? Yeah. Hang on. Oh, she wouldn't displease Right. So, slimy generation. Where do you have this dragon here, um, egg mill? Uh, I don't know. How big is it? What does it do? It's a single block. I don't know what it does. Hmm. I'll put it down on the power deck. <laughs> so, what's the slimy generator expecting? It's got slime balls. It needs something else, does it? I don't... yeah, I think so. Slime... There's no clues. Right, so that disenchantment... Enchanted. I'm going to enchanted anything. Books. Enchanted. Well, we're now getting 500 grid power. <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred? Yeah. Blimey. Well you are. Remember this Oh, there we go, yeah, I just chucked an enchanted fishing rod in the enchantment generator, it seems to have consumed it. Right, okay. So that's gonna need a supply of a specific enchanted thing. Well, we're gonna have to automate enchantment then. Yeah. Enchantment. Right, I get to take off for another quest. Dragon egg mill done. Yep. It's another one, underwhelming easy tick. Not really. The amount of resources I just had to use to make it. Oh, right. Fair enough. Right then. Enchant. <coughs> Enchantment table. No, we're going to need something different for that, aren't we? Enchantment table. Disenchanter. Enchanter. Oh, yeah. Oh, an extra utilities enchanter. That looks like it might be a bit more automation friendly. Manor enchanter. No, I don't want to be mucking around with Britannia stuffs. Let's try an enchanter. So that's this thing here. You can go there. You can go over here. I feel that if I actually care about Game of Thrones, I'd have a cultural reference here that would be useful. I'm hatching two dragons. Ah, are they tame dragons? Because yeah. they're going to need to jump from one to the other, apparently. On the promenade. I've decided to. You're actually uh, accurate recreation of DS9 without knowing it. <coughs> I made a box. Congratulations. Does it do anything? 
Um, I don't know. Right, we're going to need a ready supply of things. Let me easily do quick enchantments on. Anything I'll do. I really don't care what it is. Iron sword, I suppose, yeah. Um, which means we need a crafter. We've got a crafter and iron sword already, I think. Oh yeah, craft iron sword. <coughs> so we can just do an export on it. Hello, and is anyone in there? Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> oh, it's got a rather disappointing accurate counter on it. Next stage, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, oh, that was in five. Oh, hang on. Right, iron sword. Think about it, sword. Right. Enchanter requires a full set of nearby bookshelves or other enchantment boosting blocks. Oh, God. Right. I can't remember the last time we actually used our, our normal enchanter. <laughs> no. So, uh. It's too random. I did the books and everything, but that's actually turned out to be quite useful in the end, so. Alright. Imports and exports. If you can tick that quest off in the next ten minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I've got set quite a lot of... Uh, we don't really necessarily need to automate the enchantment. We could just chuck some normal... Do it manually, I suppose. If you... <coughs> but I still don't know how to make the slimy generator run. So that's something you'll have to find out, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to find that out between episodes. Uh... <laughs> Fine. Uh, cable. Cable, 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 cable. We have to feed a load of XP in here as well, don't we? Possibly. Oh, I need all the XP. I'll put some XP back in. You've ruined that room. I know. Let's get into that stage in the proceedings where I'm just starting to hack at stuff. My sense of tidiness is leaving. Right, so, um, import iron sword. There's an exporter. Yeah, good. Let's put that in there. Always on. Uh, click for recipes. Do you want to. Oh, hang on, I don't think it's needing a book, is it? Oh, it takes nether stars. Efficiency. Oh, okay. So I could just shove a bit of lapis in there. It'd be nice if I didn't need XP or the book. But I'll it's see just put lapis in. Is it random? It's not doing anything. That's because it's not got any power. Hang on. It's an RF device, isn't it? Uh, uh, it's my crystal binder. I have no crystals on me. No, we got a wireless over there somewhere. Hang on. Use energy. Device is linked. Right, now what's it doing? Ah, there it goes. Is it Speaking making anything specific or just a random? Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Does it? Oh no, it will matter, would it? Because you need to all dictionary or something. Well, it won't matter if we could just get the output from this into an ender chest. Oh yeah. <coughs> and just shovel it, shovel whatever comes out. I don't know. It's taken a while to 
Yeah, all right, let's plumb that in then. I don't care. Basically, the idea is we leave it running a week. All <laughs> of the materials have generated. We run it, say this worked, and Tick. then we run away, <laughs> running away, screaming. I like your thinking. Uh, ooh, what colour? Let's find a end, ender chest pairing with a colour we're not using. Ender chest. Is this exported at the moment? Purple. Not, uh, yes. Yes, I'm going to take that off. Yellow. I think we're using yellow yet. Oh, I've got a yellow wool. Oops. What? Might take Oops. a bit of the floor out. Oh, oh for God's cool. sake. Well, you can't, <laughs> you can't complain at me for accidentally taking a bit of the floor out. <laughs> there you, you got a point. Also, I just say, I'm really fed up with this cough. I've had it weak. Oh, God, I just kicked myself off the server, I think. Have you? Oh, it's gone. You have indeed. 